DREZ 2015-02, the Divine Subdivision, Tillman Crossing Road. Mr. Dad. Yes, sir. Um, this particular case is uh, received quite a bit of attention and effort from staff and the public and the planning commission. With that, it is a residential subdivision that's planned to be located in an area where the county has planned for residential subdivisions. The infrastructure is there, water and sewer wise. It appears that the disagreements are not so much about the size and the scale of the subdivision as it is, is how that subdivision relates to some of the traffic issues or congestion issues in the area. When I say issues, what I think you're going to find is there is going to be a breakdown between um, staff regarding what issues are safety versus congestion versus convenience. And I think those factors are going to be, um, have been challenging to sort through and sort out. I do believe, and I'm gonna give Mr. Fletcher just a minute here to help um, add on to this presentation of his expertise regarding the traffic uh, and this request. But otherwise, the only updates that I expect, there have been some questions about the sizes of the lots in this area. So we've asked the Fowler program to, do us, to update a map for us that kind of shows what sizes the various lots are just to try to get to the truth of that issue because that has come up. That has been a secondary issue related to the traffic. The traffic has dominantly been where the focus of the effort has been. Um, so with that, the only update before I turn it over to Mr. Fletcher that we have is we have just a map of the overall area. Um, just to help you in your understanding, you can see the water, sewer, and Stone Creek and North Lake subdivisions are all served by sewer. And then there's a break with those blue lines in the mid part of Stone Creek, which is just all water. So they would have a water and a septic tank serving those homes, which is a larger lot size. And then finally, Tillman, uh, off Tillman Crossing, Carlton Ridge is a water and sewer subdivision. So we have this map for just general reference. We have a site plan from the applicants. It's just conceptual. They aren't tied to it unless you, you ask them to be tied to it, but it's just a concept of what that layout might look like. And then the developer did ask me as a part of this presentation to include some of the housing types and locations they were considering. Now, this is good because you get an idea of what this developer, who is David Deloach, is, is aiming for. But again, it's, it's like the site plan. It's a concept, and unless you force them to agree to this, this is just something that they've shown as what they are thinking at this point for their homes. So with that, we have a few extra slides. I anticipate you getting an additional map before tomorrow night so you can see some of those lot sizes in the area. And then beyond that, I do want to give Mr. Fletcher just a, a moment or two so he can bring you up to speed on the traffic in the area. Mr. Fletcher? Yes, sir. Um, I was asked to look at the Georgia Department of Public Safety's uh, work for them through the state of Georgia and figure out how many crashes or accidents occurred at the intersection of Tillman Crossing and Old 41. In the past three years, there have been seven accidents at this intersection, uh, two of which were vehicles hit by deer. One, the lady Sandra was caught in the gas pedal uh, where she couldn't get her, uh, couldn't put her foot off the gas pedal. Uh, one, the guy fell asleep. Uh, one, another one, uh, they were looking down and was not paying attention and rear-ended someone. And the second, or the, the last two, uh, were uh, following too close to condition, following too close for conditions, and they rear-ended folks on, uh, uh, going northbound on Highway 41. Dad, we have any questions? I'm sorry, commissioners, do we have any questions for us today? We have had we've had traffic counts up there on uh, on 41 in excess of 25,000 cars in a day. On 41, what about Tillman Crossing? Uh, I don't know what Tillman Crossing is, but uh, but I can check them and have that for you tomorrow. Any other questions? Okay. We'll move on 